they would let you explore whatever you like that builds like a huge credibility because you're able to like you know successfully work on a field which is your strength i could also like travel i could be uh, like engaged in a lot of different initiatives within ibm you see clients who don't know what they want to do with the data they have terabytes and terabytes of data and they don't know what to do with it You're working at this little company called IBM. I know you did some internships and what was that journey to, to get hired for your full-time job? So when I started my internship, Data Science Elite team was uh, like a very new team. It was just created. It was probably like six months old and I, I was really, really uh, fortunate to get into that team because the kind of uh, mentors I had in the team gave me so much of exposure. Like international exposure within first year of your job is like probably the best thing you can ask for. I like really liked the culture of the team because um, they would let you explore whatever you like and uh, that that builds like a huge credibility because uh, you're able to like you know successfully work on a field which is your strength and of course like you would have to like translate into a way that is uh, like useful for the business but they let you build your strength. So for me, it was like reinforcement learning. For me, it was federated learning. So I did get to explore that space a lot. And probably like we didn't have a lot of client engagements in those space, but eventually we started getting those because we had built that eminence in those space. Another thing which I really enjoyed about my internship uh, was that like I, I got a lot of different opportunities. Like uh, even while I was an intern, I got to present directly to the clients, which is probably like a very rare opportunities which intern get. And um, like I could also like travel, I could be uh, like engaged in a lot of different initiatives within IBM. And IBM is a huge, huge company. There are so many things going on within IBM. It, it just like uh, awestrucks me sometimes that you know, I, I really wish I could get involved in everything, but it's physically just not possible for me. But there are like mm -hmm. so many interesting things going on within IBM. Uh, like IBM was a place where I got introduced to women in data science. Uh, that's one of the places where I got introduced to data science for social good. I've been working for like social advocacy initiatives. It develops you as like a well-rounded personality and not just having like one specific focus. Like you will be growing in your field, but it also gives you an opportunity to explore other strengths of yours and you could also find things uh, which could be your hobby and you could also be like you know uh, having a backup of your organization promoting you to help do that. Ashwarya a, a question that kind of ties into that how is the transition from working on academic projects to deal with large-scale projects at IBM and what did you find interesting and challenging with that transition? Uh, so again, like one of the interesting things which I used to feel, again, like IBM was my first experience in, in corporate world. And I feel like when it comes to academic projects, everything is just perfect. The data is perfect. The use case is well defined. You know what you're trying to optimize. And like everything is like given to you on a platter. But as soon as you come to the industry, you see clients who don't know what they want to do with the data terabytes and terabytes of data and they don't know what to do with it so we have to help them understand and uh, like brainstorm and discover a use case for them try to see how we can work it out in the specified duration of time uh, see what's uh, build, like build a roadmap for the client engagement figure out what's the business metric uh, what could be the success criteria etc and then start working on it and once you have your hands on the data you realize that there are data quality issues because that's real world right like uh, whenever you're logging in data somewhere there could be a lot of different reasons why the data could actually get uh, distorted so you have to deal with data quality issues you have to deal with subject matter questions which you would not be knowing so uh, there have been situations where i was working like in a completely new industry like healthcare and i would not understand the data like i would be like okay what does this mean or even in, in terms of like financial industry i would be like i don't know what this data means i don't know how it comes into their workflow so so that is also like one of the major learning experiences where you do not just tackle data science from like a computational perspective, but you also have to understand their business. That's, that's when you will be able to help the organization build a sustainable, a scalable and a adaptable uh, like solution in their organization. And someone's curious with this work that you're doing, what are some of the tools and technologies that you use there at IBM? I would probably like categorize it in two baskets. 
uh, we use a lot of open scale uh, open source technologies and we also use a lot of uh, ibm's technologies we had amazing ibm researchers who have built a lot of tools in, in the space of nlp in the space of computer vision um in in terms of like financial crime insights etc so we do have a mix of both we do uh, try to extensively use and fine tune the tools which we have from IBM but we also do not like hesitate in using open source tools like uh, it does give us a lot of feasibility in integrating different pipelines so we do like use both the baskets of tools awesome this has been so much fun give a, a clap a thumbs up a cheers to <laughs> ashwarya hanging out with us on this friday night uh, yeah this has been a pleasure so thank you so much ashwarya Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll see you next time at Shine Coaching. Cheers, everyone.